Bonafide Hustler here, and we're about to be at our first garage sale or two. I want to take you guys along with us. We don't know what we're going to find today. Should be a lot of fun. What's going on, guys and gals? Chris, the Bonafide Hustler, coming to you live from the inside of Super Small Spaceship. And today, we're hitting up garage sales. I'm actually outside the very first one. It's sitting right there. See, there's the proof, okay? There's the proof. We're about to get in there and check it out. Uh, there's about seven, maybe six garage sales today to look at. Nothing super crazy, but I think we're gonna do well, hopefully. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at the Bonafide Hustler, and you can get the free money-making guide. It's the first link down below. Teach you 50 items on what to buy and resell that you can commonly find at thrift stores and garage sales. Let's go check out this garage sale and see if we find anything cool. That's a good book. Thanks, Did you guys have any bikes for sale? Bikes for sale? Uh, bikes, yes. You do? Um, let's see here. Okay. So there are some bikes here, but these are the, this is an example of really cheap bikes you don't want to be buying right here. So yeah, that's it. These are a pass. All right, let's go to the next garage sale. I don't see much that I need here. We didn't find anything at that last garage sale. About to be at the next garage sale. This is one of my favorite parts of town. It's called Hyde Park. It's just beautiful. There's trees everywhere. There's really cool houses. Um, and they're all different kind of houses too. This garage sale might have some bikes. I'm not sure. Um, but being in, that it's in this part of town, they could be marked up like all the way up. I do see bikes as we pull up to this garage sale. Okay. This is a Trek Marlin. This is a cool bike. Instead of ice cream, this is ice cream. There's an ice cream. Oh, there was. Oh, no, there's an ice cream. Wow. Then, Any wiggle room on the bike? I'm just curious. On that one? Yeah, I'm just. My son. I'm thinking yeah. he's pretty fun on it. Is he? Okay. It's still working pretty good and everything? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know there's 140 and 10s right here. Check, check that out real quick. Just make sure, and then I'll get you the rest. Hopefully, I have it. See if I do. And then we need 60 more, right? Let's try this. There we go. Try that. Is that 60 more? Yeah. All right. Good luck. Cool. I'm gonna keep looking around. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I want definitely need that bike. Cool. It's pretty neat. You don't see these every day. How much are the rackets? I'm just curious. Uh, 10 each. 10 each? Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Actually, 20 each. Oh, these are 20 each. 10 and this is 5. Okay, these are 20 each. Yeah. yeah okay. These are, this one's like, these are both expensive sticks. Yeah. I would do, for all three, I'll do 30. For all three. 30 all three. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Turntable right here. A random turntable. It's all good. Cool. The big winner is this Trek Marlin 5. It's got disc brakes. This bike right here is a four to $500 bike pretty quick. Probably would sell it this weekend too. But this bike up top, the Trek Marlin 5, this is exactly why I came to this garage sale. They said there was a Trek here with 27.5 wheels. At that point, I pretty much figured out it's probably a mountain bike. So it's a good mountain bike. Um, the Trek Marlins that we've ever had in stock don't last very long, sub one week. So that's good. This one has the disc brakes as well. Is it the hydraulic disc brake option? No. Is it the cable actuated disc brake option? Yes. So that's going to shake out between four and 500 bucks. That's just my guess. Whoosh. All right, next garage sale is kind of like a pop-up garage sale thing. I, you know, I think it's resellers, honestly. So my, my hopes aren't super high, but there could be something good here. Let's go check it out. Oh, 
wasn't bad either. How much this is, and then the black phone. I'm just wondering. Thank you um, for the black phone. Yeah. Twenty for both. Twenty for both. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so I'm editing the video real quick, and now that I think about it, 20 bucks for like that bag and this black rotary dial phone, I probably should have bought it. Um, I don't know why I didn't. Now that I think about it, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe I thought it was 20 each at the time. I should have bought that stuff. I gotta go find another garage sale. There are not many garage sales today, that's the problem. But I did really well so far, I mean, so. Um, yeah, let's keep, let's just try to find another one. Let's see what we can do, Cheddar fam. Next garage sale sitting right here. I don't know what to make of it. I do see a bike inside. I don't know what's going on, so we're gonna have to figure this one out. Oops. Got a fake snake. Okay, I guess that's that. So yeah, the bike was 500 bucks. It's actually a good bike. It's market price though. Nothing else was that great. Let's go to the next garage sale and check it out. Okay, here's the next garage sale and it looks just god awful. There's like, it just doesn't look that great, but I'm gonna take a whirl and just see. It just looks kind of weird. Lots of shoes. Yeah, there's not much here. So unfortunately, you gotta lock the bike up right here. Unfortunately, there are no more garage sales today, but there are at least one to two thrift stores I can go to. So that's what we're doing today. Okay, so before we get to the next thrift store, I didn't find anything of that last one. I'm at the farmer's market here in Austin, Texas. And uh, it's a place where I get my eggs and sometimes my meat that I eat during the week. So yeah, really nice farmer's market, but I don't have too much time to peter around and check everything out. I really could just come here for like one farmer who has the best eggs ever. But if you're in Austin, Texas on a Saturday, you wanna come downtown to the SFC market here at Republic Square. And then on Sundays, you wanna to go to the Mueller Market, which is by the old airport. Anyway, the farmer I like is right here. Morning. What's up, how are you? Good, how are you? Do you have any jumbo eggs today? I do. Um, I'll take three. All right, thank you. Outside of like the new Lake Austin Goodwill, and uh, we're gonna get inside this one here in one second. I can't wait to see what we can find. Maybe we can find something cool. If not, it's time to go home, call it a day, nothing crazy. I'm gonna list this stuff. Should be, I honestly thought about li like putting the bike in the grass over here and just listing it here. But I'm gonna be home in like 20, 30 minutes. So I don't know if that's really gonna buy me much time at all. Got a little Cortado at Swedish Hill Bakery. Let's see. Ah! It's good. I like it. That's nice, but I have to get home soon because I have these eggs and I want to see my pets and I want to list this stuff. Let's go see what's in this Goodwill. I find that this Goodwill, I find that this Goodwill is really good for personal stuff too. So if I'm looking for shorts, which it's the heat of summer, having some good shorts always, you can just never have enough good shorts, I swear, in this town. So I'm always looking for some cool stuff. And since I predominantly work out outdoors, well, 50% of the time outdoors, it's nice to have things I can sweat in a lot. It's nice to have looser clothing and more moisture wicking clothing, you know? So I didn't find anything at that Goodwill, but I'm close to my house, right? I'm making my way back to my neighborhood. 
and I saw a sign that there is another garage sale around here, so I'm going to stop and check it out. The sign was pretty colorful too, and it was actually close to like the freeway exit thing, you know, like the feeder road. So they put some effort into making sure that people go to this garage sale. This is a garage sale that is not on the Craigslist app or any of those apps or anything like that. So it's basically a rogue garage sale. Here you see clothing racks. I see a young couple. I won't be able to bring the actual camera in, but uh, I'll take a look. Okay, nothing at that garage sale, but they did think that I was, for a second, like this actor guy. And you probably know who I'm talking about. That's okay. Let's get home and get that bike listed and take a closer look at the tennis rackets. Okay, I'm in the Bonafide Hustler garage. It's a little on the hot side, hence shirts off. Anyway, we got the three rackets down here. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about them. So these are the rackets that I picked up earlier today. We have an SX600 Dunlop right here. We have a Babolat, like a little 360 power, well, pure power 360. Then we have an XP5 Triad right here. This is a Wilson. So uh, yeah, pretty interesting kind of, you know, rackets. Um, I like to kind of flip oversized rackets. So those are ones with like, I think 110 or so on the head or maybe a little bit larger. So a lot of times you can find everything that you need to know inside the little triangle of the rackets right here. Yeah, I think order of like what's most expensive down to cheapest. I think this might have a chance of selling between 120, 150. This one closer to 100 and maybe this one like 80 bucks. They're in great condition. And a lot of times when you are listing tennis rackets, you have to make sure that you list the head size. You obviously don't want to be pulling trigger on any kind of tennis racket that has any kind of cracks to it on the head. And you can get a lot of pertinent information of the tennis racket sitting inside the triangle right here. But another thing that's really important is the grip size. So inside the triangle right here, that's, it tells me that this is a grip two. So somebody that's buying a Strixon or SX600 Dunlop is gonna be looking for a grip whatever. And this is a two for sure. This one right here in the middle, we have a four and a half grip. So you can look underneath right here and you can take a look and see with that. And sometimes pertinent information will be inside the triangle right there. And then this one right here, we look inside the triangle and we have all kinds of information right here. It tells me the head size, everything, blah, blah, blah. And even the grip size, as you can see right there, four and three eight. So those are important things when you're listing tennis rackets. Not all tennis rackets are valuable. I would say of all the ones I come across in garage sales, you know, 20%, maybe 10%. And there's always the option of taking this stuff, you know, if you just don't want to throw it through eBay, uh, pat it up in a poly mailer, like it's really easy to ship these things off. But if you don't want to deal with any of that kind of stuff, then all you have to do is take it and play it against sports and they can give you cash for stuff like this. I bet you they would offer me 80 to 100, maybe more for this entire thing. So if I ever get really tired of this whole thing, I could just convert my cash really quickly. And that's the vlog, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to shoot pictures of this stuff and then uh, list the bike and these rackets, but I thought it was an okay day. It's too bad there weren't more garage sales, and it's too bad that I couldn't find more things, but I thought I found some good things, you know, and I tried real hard. So anyway, I'm gonna get these things listed, and I'll see you on the next Bonafide Hustler video. Take it easy. Goodbye. Goodbye.